Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? We got a dump of snow, as you can see. Got to fire up the truck. It's only about minus two. It's not that cold out today. Nice. Uh, so what we're doing today is, um, for a while now, I've been needing to uh, whoop, replace the battery in my generator. It's not doing so good now. It, uh, I think the generator might actually just uh, draws a little bit of power all the time until it kind of kills the battery. There must be some kind of little computer-y system -y thing in it or something for... Uh, oh man, I've got to find my trailer hitch. Uh, there must be some kind of computery system in it that keeps drawing a little bit of power out of this battery. So I think if you're leaving it stored for a long time, either unhook the battery or put a tender onto it. So we got to get uh, the door open. We're going to a battery place today called Total Battery. And uh, Princess Auto Special. This thing's awesome. It's got an extender dewey. Extends out like a mile, and uh, that thing does flip around and flops in. Let's see, I need a big, long, freaking. Look how long this thing is, so I can get up to here, kind of thing, right? So, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna go up to a place called Total Battery today. I wanted to get something, something somewhat decent, and it's a fairly decent price. So we'll say, as in, holy cow, you know, batteries. That small cost that much, but this one apparently does. I'm trying to get some of this off of here. It's hard to do it with one hand because you need your other hand to kind of push down, right? So we'll do a snow brush simulator for you. Oh, this stuff we got here, the top part's not bad, but the bottom part is all like real crappy packing snow kind of. Anyway, so I'll get this done and uh, hit her up. All right, we're thawing. I can pretty much guarantee I'm gonna need uh, four by four to get out of here. <laughs> Start off good, but this is all ice here underneath the snow. So guaranteed we won't get too far. These good years, Wranglers, just, I don't like them. They're not very good. And this stuff, anyways, even though they're kind of aggressive-y. Let's see. Get her out. Already spinning. We might make the wrong power toast. <laughs> that didn't last too long, did it? Well then. Put her four by four, we'll let her lock in. like it's closed though it doesn't look very uh bright in there even though i think their sign says they're open but uh head in here and see what happens i don't know draw all this way it's closed you watch okay i think they are open today if you look there it says 12 and right now it's 7 48 so we're a little bit early but that's okay we shall wait i want to show you my new skates i got there uh, i've always had like really chintzy skates i wanted something really decent so you know i'm not gonna hopefully get any bigger feet now now in my edge uh spot in my life now i'm not gonna get any bigger feet holy cow get that out now this was sort of an expensive skate but they're really good skates they're really comfortable which is good because that's fairly important um i don't play hockey or figure skate or any of that crap but uh, just every once in a while put the skates on and try not to kill myself right but the best part about these now this is the skate i had to go with this one because they didn't have at sport check there they didn't have anything else that was my size in something decent so i had to go with this one and this is the best part of this skate let me flip this around for you 
look at the number of them. <laughs> it's even getting me on my freaking new pair of skates. I can't freaking believe it. That's a Bauer skate. Pretty nice skate. The S29. Alright, there we go. We got a new battery. Let's get her down here and we'll have a quick look at her here. In there. Probably need two hands to dump that out, but. Oh, fingers aren't that strong. There we go. Cool little battery. That should be good. And uh, it should go that way. And away we go. Alright, sweet. Well, well, we're up way up here in the middle of nowhere. Well, Barrie, Ontario. That's a pretty big city, actually. We're going to do some Christmas shopping, and uh, we'll maybe take this home, and I probably should charge it, I guess, a little bit first before I stick it in the generator, but anyways, we're good to go. Woo. Yeah, whose idea was this coming shopping here? My goodness. We had to park way the crap over there, but it's not really too bad. This is only the one side, though. It's going to suck inside here, I bet. I can't believe what I found. Random dish. Turn this. This is all gonna fall over. I gotta get this dish out of here to show you what I found. I don't have wreck in the joint here. I found a freaking plate with a freaking goose head in it. I can't believe it. It's a flying goose. Oh my gosh. Can you see the goose? Time for some booster. Oh yeah, you know what I'm getting? Spinach is in it. Oh yeah, have a look at the spinach. Oh yeah, look at that stuff. That's horrible. <laughs> it's so good. It's got uh, spinach, uh, apple, pomegranate, ap apple, you said apples. Banana? Akai or whatever that stuff's called. Akai. Yeah, that stuff. Awesome. Oh, I don't like these things. I always fall off them. No, you do not. Oh. Oh, okay, we made it. We're following the guy with the raccoon hat. I think it's a wolf. I think it's a wolf. I don't know. But that's not his hair. Not so busy here. There's a lot of cars. Well, it's fairly busy. Fairly busy. Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness. All right, I guess we're done. Gosh, I love that Ford app. Start it anywhere in the world. Lock and lock your doors. Awesome. Alrighty, well, we're back home. We uh, got the battery to... I'm going to put it on my uh, my charger downstairs before we uh, install it. And then I got to, I think, rig up something. What I might do is run a... Um, how am I going to do that? I want to run a battery tender to this battery inside the generator there so when I'm not using it it's gonna keep charged because I think there's something on that generator that must be like just drawing a little bit of power out of it and eventually it just pff, till it's gone right and then as soon as that happens that battery is pretty much junk with these things anyways they're, they don't seem to like that so uh, I think what I want to do is run a cord somehow from the house of course and then into the little gen building there and then put a plug like a receptacle plug inside where I can just plug in the uh, battery tender and then just onto the battery and then she should be good so I just got to figure out uh, the best way probably use I don't know if I just run a cord right in drill a little hole run a cord in hook it into the thing probably should use some kind of wire that's like a so type like dirt kind of type stuff um and then where am i gonna get power from i could put a plug on it and just plug it into the plug on the side of the house or potentially run it into the box that's there and wire it right into the circuit that way I basically just need like an extension cord kind of thing <laughs> and plug it into the box and then and then run it in through the um 
in through the little building there into like the receptacle electrical boxy thing and then into the receptacle and then plug the battery tender in i've got a tender and everything for it the one i had in the shed there i could just use it and uh go from there i guess that's the only thing i can kind of really think so we might have to do that because you know that was like a 144 dollar battery batteries here are just ridiculous now if you guys are watching this can you just kind of comment to me even if it's not the exact super price but this is a uh, well you guys saw it it's like a motorcycle battery right it's a little bit bigger than a motorcycle battery it's a little bit wider a little bit taller it's not like the real small motorcycle batteries but if you can just for fun comment and leave a comment on the bottom thingy down there to just say roughly how much your batteries are in the states down there us of a and stuff because i know they probably be a lot cheaper but this uh this is from power sonic this battery made in china marketed by power sonic corporation san diego california there you go but it's made in china and it's a uh, the model number is a p t Z or Z Z one four S as in Sam. That's it right there. I mean, just get an idea like this. Like, don't go nuts trying to look batteries up and stuff. But you know, just give me a rough price of what you guys would pay for something kind of like this down there. This is a. I presume this is like a AGM absorbent glass mat battery, but it's non-spillable, so. Still heavy though, but there's still, you know, stuff in it. But uh, I mean, hopefully it's a good battery. This is the same place, not the same company perhaps, but the same place that I got the battery for the travel trailer and my ATV. Well, maybe pop downstairs because I want to. I got all my batteries charged down there. I want to maybe get this thing onto the battery tender down there and leave her overnight kind of thing. And um, juicer. So let's go in and do that. Welcome to my messy underground lair. Actually, I don't know what it is if we're underground, right? So, <laughs> anyways, this is batteries from all my junk. Now, what do we got here? This is um, the two motorcycle batteries. This is the slingshot battery. This is the battery from the zero turn. This is the battery from my ATV. These are batteries from the little dirt bikes, so... I went with all of these little guys here because they're just tendering, right? So you don't really need a whole pile of a whole pile of juice to it. But uh, I think I'm gonna pop this guy out of here. And then I'll stack here some of my old RC stuff from the old days. There, Good old stuff. This is probably fine, but he suggested just putting it on a triple charge, so. All right, I'm just going to take these ones off. And, like, oh, that one. Ooh, ooh, wrecking things. That one on the black. Come on now. And that one on the red. And that thing says charging. All right, now where did this one fall off? This one came off of this guy here. Yeah, I charge everything all together all winter. Keep everything all juiced up real nice, and I've never had a problem. So, But anyways, we'll get this guy installed the next day or so. And uh, i got to get, uh, like I say, a uh, power or something in there so I can run. I've got another one of these in the garage, and I'll run that uh, some power into the inside so it's all locked up. So it kind of keeps the mice from getting through a big hole and stuff, because that thing should hopefully keep mice out. <laughs> It's pretty tight and I've spray foamed as much as I could right now but anyways lots of batteries had this light above my bench here and I came out one day I'm like why the, why the crap is it so dark over here it's got one light above us still and this thing had fallen somehow it's been up there for years it fell I don't know how and smashed I'm like oh that's great but anyways crazy so that's it. Thanks again for watching. That was a busy day shopping. Oh, I like kind of going up to where we went there today in Barrie, but that was busy. And I'm not a real busy, busy kind of like in person. So look, I still got glass all in here and stuff from that stupid light. Got to clean that up. Get the vacuum going, I guess. Anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching and happy battery charging. We'll get this guy 
installed soon here. I got to run some power out there though. 